All right, I'm here with Lydia, Lilia Vu, um, tied for leader in the clubhouse after eight under round today. Um, can you talk about your round and uh, the several birdies you had out there, a chip in, a few long putts? Yeah, today, honestly, my only goal is to hit the ball solid. It's been rough the past couple weeks with how my body's doing and just struggling with a back injury, but I'm almost 100%, so it was really fun to play without pain today and just focus on where I wanted to hit the ball instead of bracing for pain. Mm -hmm. How do you give yourself grace and your body grace a little bit when, when it does kind of crop up like that? Because it, it happens. I mean, we're all, you're athletes yeah. out here. But how do you kind of keep yourself in check when that pain does come up? I think my team does a good job of that. I, I'm very hard on myself. So definitely got in my own way last week and was really hard on myself, even though I was still working through the pain. So, I mean, I did pretty well given that I was spazzing out the first two rounds. So it got better during the weekend and I can't ask for anything else. I think your, your motto is, I just want to go make a bunch of birdies. Well, you did that today. <laughs> when, it, when you have a round like today, how would you rank that when it comes to meeting that goal of just making a bunch of birdies? Because you, you made a lot of them. <laughs> yeah, uh, I think that really wasn't my focus. It naturally happened. I think I was really excited to pull off shots that I saw in my head. It's been a while since I've been able to hit a shot that I see. So I think it was super fun just being able to be like, okay, I can just hit a nice little draw right here ends up maybe like 10, 15 feet, and then go and try and make it. I know I kind of asked this earlier, but like for, for you that is a player that's hard on herself, after a season like last year, how have you, again, given yourself grace and like try to keep yourself kind of low expectations, it's early in the year out here. Like, Is there a method to, to the mental attitude that you have to take after a season like that? I think honestly I struggled a little bit the past couple months. I was just, you know, holding myself to too high of a standard. And I think I really have to go back to my root of, finding fun on the golf course before and not letting my results kind of define me. I think when I just have a really simple goal for the day, I, golf speaks for itself at, mm -hmm. at the end of it. How much have you enjoyed being on uh, the west side of the U.S. in the past two tournaments? Oh my gosh, it's so fun. Actually, this course I was telling my caddy today kind of felt like my home club at home. So it was very like deserty golf, which I really enjoy. Is there anything else in particular about this course that you kind of can relate to your home course? I think just... Or maybe the way it's set up too. I think the way it's set up too, <laughs> it's rewarding at some points. And if you hit good drives, you're able to kind of convert on par fives. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you. Perfect. Yeah. Thank you.